You want me to do what? You want me to rename the title column to name. Isn't that kind of the same as the title? Hmm. You like the way name looks better. All right, stick around. We're going to show you how to rename the title column to name. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that settings, you got gear icon, that cog, whatever you wanna call it, you're gonna go to list settings. And then from list settings, you're gonna find that title title column, you're gonna click on that puppy, it's gonna open up at some point, if I didn't click it. And you're just gonna retype over it, name, and okay. And then you are basically done. We wanna double check it, we go back here, take a look, oh, it's name, look at here, add a new item, oh, it's name, boom, you did it. You did the thing. You did it. Okay. So now we're going to slow it down. We're going to talk about the details here and we'll get into what can happen if you do it the other way because there is another way, but it seems a little bit goofy. You'll see why. Before we get to that point, first, thank you so much for all of the likes, shares, subscribes. We appreciate your interaction. Go ahead hit that like, share, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can know as soon as new videos are available. Okay, so let's start by going with a little bit of a goofy scenario here, okay? Um, and to do that, I'm gonna start over with a brand new list. So if you wanna know how to create a brand new list, you can just go to the home page, click the logo, and hit the dropity drop down and brand new list. In this case, we're gonna do just a list list, regular list, and we're gonna say this is a list list. Uh, and then we're not gonna show it in nav and click on create. And so we're gonna get that default title column that every SharePoint document library has. Little known fact, I just said document library. What I meant to say was list. It's also there in document libraries, but there's an actual name column that's an whole other story. Anyway, so if you do it the other way, it, it looks a little bit goofy in list settings. So if there is a way I can hit the drop down, I can go to column settings and rename, and I can rename it to name. Why you want to do that? I don't know. Just use the title column. I will take this moment to say, if you can use the title column, use the title column. Save yourself extra stuff. Okay, we're going to click save. And it looks great here. We go add new item and it looks great there. But if I happen to be bouncing around into the list settings, you're gonna see that it is not name, it's title. Now, the reason that I showed you the other way, you know, in the 60 second overview is because that, you know, changes it everywhere. Um, you'll have to trust me or you can try it on your own. If you go into list settings and start there, then it, backfills everything else if you do it the other way it leaves this like a dangling participle and nobody wants their participle to dangle all right so there you go that is how you can rename rename the title column uh again i'll say if you can just keep it title just go ahead and do that um because at the end of the day if you do more stuff with it down the road let's say you pull it into a power app uh, even though you rename the title column, it's still going to show up as title on the back, back, back end when you, like I said, when you start playing with power, uh, power apps. So there you go. Hopefully this helps if you've been trying to figure out how to make it happen. Please let us know what else you want to see. Again, please like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you. With that, do the very best you can with what you got. Remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time, y'all. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.